fiery horse with the speed of light, a cloud of dust, and a hearty Hyo Silver, the Lone Ranger. Yes, Marty, dear. Haven't you finished those dishes yet? Now what have you done? My best set of china that Aunt Mattie gave us. Can't you do anything without making a mess of it? I guess not, dear. I, I, I'm i just all thumbs. I sometimes wonder why I ever married you. Yes, sometimes I wonder the same thing, dear. And just what do you mean by that? Oh, nothing, dear. It's nothing. Uh, Miss Dingle. What do you want, Tex? One of the boys just rode in from the North Range, Mrs. Dingle. Some of your cattle was rustled last night. Well, don't stand there gabbing about it. Round up the hands and go after it. Yes, ma'am. Right away, ma'am. Rustlers. As if I don't have enough trouble running this ranch and looking after you. When you finish those dishes, the floors need cleaning. Yes, Morty, dear. I'm going to town for supplies. And I want to see those floors shining spick and span when I get back. Do you understand? Yes, Morty, spick and span. And don't go breaking any more dishes. Well, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to, Morty, but when you yell, you, you sort of startle me. <laughs> sort of startle you. I must have been loco to hitch up with a puny prairie dog like you. But I thought you had the makings of a good husband, Casper. I should have known that a city-bred fellow who never had to fight for his rights ain't the man for me. Well, now, don't go getting riled, Morty. I do the best I can. You never did anything in your whole life, Casper Dingle. Why, you're the laughing stock of your own ranch hands. I wish I'd married a man. So do I, Marty. So do I. Tato, over there. They must have camped here last night. Uh, red clay, plenty sticky. Careful, churn it up good. Too bad we lose their tracks at river. We'll just have to keep backtracking until we find out where they came from. What make you think them been rustled? Because they're headed away from town on the railroad. This is bad grazing land. You think rustlers drive them to secret hiding place across river? That's what we'll have to find out. Tato, look, a stray. Poor little feller, him get left behind. Maybe now we find out who him belong to. Easy, little fellow. We just want to see your brand. Brand here. Him belong to Circle D Ranch. Yes, I've heard of the Circle D. Someone by the name of Dingle owns it. We better head there right away. And what we do with little fella? He looks homesick. We'll take him with us. Easy, little fellow. Good. Him be plenty glad to see Circle D Ranch again. Good morning. D -d 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 don't shoot. I, I give up. Don't let this mask frighten you. We're not here to shoot anybody. We're just interested in your cattle. Oh, do you, do you mean the, the ones you rustled off the North Range last night? You, you can keep them, mister. And you did lose some cattle. We wanted to make sure they were stolen before we went looking for them. Oh, then... Then you're not aiming to shoot me. Of course not. But why aren't you leading your men after those rustlers? Lead them? Mister, I ain't even allowed to follow them. It's my wife does the leading around here. You mean you were afraid of wife? Injun, if you were married to a woman like Maud Dingle, you'd be scared too. Maud Dingle? Yes, I've heard about her. Didn't she used to run this ranch for your uncle before he died? Yes. That's one of the reasons I married Marty. I didn't know anything about running a ranch when I came west. You not love wife? Of course I love her, Injun. Marty's a good wife. It's me that's to blame. Oh, look at me now, staying home here, washing dishes while my hands are out hunting down the rustlers. Then ride with us. We're looking for the rustlers, too. Well, but I don't even know how to shoot a gun. Why, why am I turn and run? I don't think you're a coward, Mr. Dingle. You just let people talk you into believing you're one. I, I'll do it. Good. You won't be sorry. Uh, where we look, Kimasabi, tracks lost in river. Rustlers have cattle hit good by now. True, but if they're hiding out, they'll need supplies. I'll take Mr. Dingle into our camp. You ride into town, see if you can spot anyone with red clay on their boots. The kind of clay we saw before. Uh, me go now, Kimasabi. Keep eyes open. Be careful, Tonto. Uh. Well, Mr. Dingle, how does it feel to go on a real manhunt? Awful. 
Just awful. <laughs> Scalping? <laughs> Maybe we want haircut. Me got money. Well, sit down. Ain't you through yet, Len? Hurry it up. I got the supplies. Come on, Barbara. I don't have all day. See anybody we know? Nobody special. Well, uh, how is it, mister? Not bad. Not bad. Yeah, yeah, regular dude. Come on, Spike's waiting for us. Thank you. Well, yeah, come on, Redskin, you're next. Me got job to do first. Come back later, maybe. Well, make up your mind. Casper? Casper, come in here. Casper, where are you? Dad it. Didn't even clean these floors like I told him to. Hello, Tex. Catch them rustlers? No, ma'am. We lost their tracks at the river. Couldn't pick them up again. Lost them? And you give up just like that? Well, Mr. What Tex kind of hands are you anyway? Nobody ever rustles cattle from our dingle and gets away with it. Get my horse. We'll catch those dirty coyotes. And after we do, I'll have a few words with that husband of mine. Honorary rabbit. Straying off when he's got work to do. Come on, Tex. Fine weapon. Man could shoot straight with this. A man, maybe, but all my wife ever calls me is a mouse. Then it's time you gave a reason to call you something else. Now aim at that target. If Spike Wade happens to be one of our rustlers, you may have to shoot at the real thing later on. The real thing? You you think I could? He'll be shooting at you. Now fire that gun. told you it was useless, friend. You do have a lot to learn. While we're waiting for Tunnel to get back, I'll give you a lesson. Well, you, you really think there's hope for me? <laughs> there's nothing wrong with your shooting that a little practice won't cure. You know, I'm worried about Tonto. He should be back here by now. Well, 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 maybe we better go get him. We'll finish that lesson first. Now, this time, Mr. Dingle, keep both eyes open. I told you I heard someone following us. I'll take these. Hey, this is the Indian who came into the barber shop. What's the idea of following us, Injun? Just because me on the same trail not mean me follow you. Look, nobody knows this trail but us. You're going to be sorry you came snooping around. We better take care of him right now. Hold it, Lynn. Spike may have some questions to ask him. We'll get rid of him tonight before we move the cattle to the water. You keep plenty big herd in Canyon. That's right, Injun. Take a good look at it while you can, because after tonight you won't see nothing. Now, come on. And remember, Injun, I got a gun aiming at you. Get going. Are 
Are you out of your mind? What's the idea of bringing this engine here? He followed us from town, Spike. We got wise and jumped him in the pass. Well, followed you, huh? What for, engine? Maybe me want job. Don't stall. You wanted a job, you would have asked us for it in town. Why are you here? Who sent you? He don't seem to want to talk, Spike. He'll want to talk when I get through with him. Tie up his horse. Come here, you. Come. Looks like the paint is ornery as the engine. Oh! Go, Scout! Get ready, Go! Regret that engine. You think we hit his horse? I don't know, Spike. What did he say to the critter? He said something about a ranger. Ranger? Huh. Now that horse will have to head clear for Texas. There's sure no rangers in this here territory. You want me to go after it? Are you loco? Horse has got no sense. Even if that paint had sense enough to find his way out of this canyon, he wouldn't know how to lead anybody back into it. All right, engine. Inside, no more tricks. a bullseye. You're sure a good teacher, friend. You're a good student, Mr. Dingle. You can do anything well if you put your mind to it. Uh, anything but talk back to Marty. You don't know what she's like. Still scared of your wife, eh? You don't know it, Mr. Dingle, but you're a real he-man. You've just never been given the chance to prove it. And you think Marty will let me wear the pants in the family if I do? She'll have to. All right. Listen. What is it? A horse coming. Scout. I wonder what's happened to Tonto. He's been traveling fast. What? What? Why, look, mister, he's bleeding. Bullet crease. Luckily, it just missed him. Something went wrong. What is it, Scout? What are you trying to tell us? Where's Tonto? Lead us to him, boy. Come on, Mr. Dingle. Tano's life may be in danger. Well, but, but supposing it's a trap, there may be rustlers waiting for us. We'll have to risk that. Well, I guess this is my big chance to find out what I am, a man or a mouse. Let's go. Now, answer me, engine. Why did you follow them two here? I said talk! You plenty brave men when your hand's free. Mine tied. That's right, engine. And I'm going to get braver and braver till you tell me what I want to know. Oh, you Spike. You've been working on him for over an hour. That redskin's not going to talk. No, he's not. Huh? Oh, looks like a box canyon. The entrance is nearly hidden. And I'll scout to lead us. We never would have found it. What happens now? That depends upon what's on the other side of the pass. Let's go. I wouldn't be surprised if those were your missing cattle. Well, what do you know? I wonder what Marty would think of me now. Me, Casper Dingle, out tracking down the rustlers. <laughs> She'd be proud of you. Hey, there's a cabin over there. Three horses near it. Do you think the rustlers have Tonto inside? We'll have to find that out. We'll leave our horses here and climb up behind the cabin on foot. Our only chance is to take them by surprise. Come on. Stay here, Mr. Dingle. As soon as I give you the signal, start firing your gun. First from one end of the rock, then the other. What for? I want them to think there's more than one man up here. Well, but what are you going to do? I've got to get inside that cabin, but I want them out of there first. Yeah, but supposing they start shooting back at me? Just give them as good as you get. Good luck. You might as well give up, Spike. He's not going to talk. That's right. It's almost time for us to start moving those cattle. All right. Take him outside and put a bullet in him. I don't see anything. You two get outside and take a look. I'll take care of the engine. There's two of them up behind that boulder. And come. Now, 
maybe you're not so brave. Well, I'm feeling brave enough to kill you, Injun, to keep you from blabbing. Drop that gun. Somebody else got in that cabin. We've got to help Spike. On my shoulder! Winged him! Whoa! Oh. Reach, is it? The fight's over. Good work, Curly. What happened to you? Wing me, just a scratch. Did you get whoever was shooting at you? I don't know. Well, if you're not sure, we better clear out of here. But let's take care of these hombres first. Oh, no, you don't drop your guns. Huh. Well, will you look who's talking? It's that little runt Casper Dingle we used to see around town. Are you telling me what to do, pipsqueak? I sure am, Bob. You all right, Tonto? Be fine. Give me some of Then beat me up. Try and make me talk. I see. Me be all right. Take these outside, Mr. Dingle. Wait there for us. What are you going to do? I don't like cowards who beat up a man when he's tied in a chair. Neither does Tonto. Maybe Ruster's not so brave when them fight men with hands not tied. What? You, you aiming to take on all three of them? Just the two of you? That's right, Mr. Dingle. You sure you know what you're doing? They're bigger than you are. Friend, after what I've been through today, I could lick my weight in wildcats. That's the spirit. Just wait till Marty sees me now. Just wait. Casper? Casper, where are you? Casper! Casper Dingle! If you're not in here in two seconds, I'll skin you alive. Call me, ma'am. Any sign of that husband of mine? No, ma'am, and the boys are plumb wore out from that wild goose chase we've been on. Now, fine, howdy do. Can't find hide nor hair of them rustlers, and Casper's not even here to cook a warm meal for us. Boys are hungry, too, ma'am. I reckon you'll have to do it yourself. Well, just wait till I get my hands on him. I'll teach him to go lallygagging off. Who's that coming? I must be seeing things, ma'am. What do you mean? There's three mean-looking hombres riding toward us with their hands up, and Casper's behind them with a gun on them. Tex, you're plum loco. All right, now get off your horses, pronto. Casper must be loony. Only a gun on buzzards like them. Get inside. Who's that masked man? And that engine following you? I don't know, but he don't seem to need their help. He's given all the orders. What have you been up to? Me and the boys have been out hunting rustlers all day, and you weren't even here to get our grub ready for us. I've been out hunting rustlers too, Morty, and there they be. Them rustlers? Casper Dingle, don't you lie to me. You haven't gumption enough to capture one rustler, let alone three. He's telling the truth, Mrs. Dingle. He practically captured these outlaws single-handed. Single-handed? I don't know who you are, but I do know my husband. And he can't even shoot a gun. Oh, I can't, eh? That's your favorite teapot, isn't it, Marty? You know darn well it is. Well, it ain't no more. Casper Dingle, what do you mean? Out of my way, woman. Tex, you and the boys take these three hombres into town and turn them over to the sheriff. When you get back, I'll tell you where the cattle's hid. I take my orders from Mrs. Dingle. From now on, you take them from me. Now, get going. Okay, boss. Outside, you three. Well, Mr. Dingle, you won't need us anymore. Well, sure you won't stay for supper. 
I never tasted my wife's cooking, but she said she was good before I married her. Oh, thanks. We have work to do. Tallow? You keep wearing pants in family. Them look good on you. I'm hungry, woman. Rustle me up some grub. Now, see here, Casper Dingle. I don't know what's come over you. But if you think you can order me around... If my supper ain't on the table in ten minutes, you're going to look mighty funny without ears. Why, sure, Casper, honey. Anything you say. Grub, coming up. Uh, it sure feels good to be a man instead of a mouse. I'll never forget that masked man and engine. I never saw them before. Who are they? Ah, just like a woman doesn't know anything. They're only the two greatest men in all the West, Tonto and the Lone Ranger. Hello, Silver, how are you? 